Oh, hey, Dan, how's it going? Oh, hey, Graham, it's good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good. You must have seen all my meeting in Teams for Two Minute Tuesdays. I was just having to think about what I should do this week. Yeah, that's right. I was just uh, burning the midnight oil, just like you, and I saw that you were having a meeting in this channel. So by yeah, working out loud, I was able just to drop in and, and see what was going on, which is quite cool. But one thing I want to talk to you about is um, some work I've been doing with customers that might be relevant for your Two Minute Tuesday series. Sure, yeah. What, what was your idea? So I've been talking to a lot, uh, talking to my customers about chat ops. Have you heard about that phrase before? A bit like DevOps and things like that, right? That's right, yeah, kind of the evolution of that. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen with you here. Let me know when you can see that. So it comes yeah, straight through. It. Sure. Cool. Yeah, it's super fast now in Teams. Um, so I've set up this team here and I've put together some channels in here to help with um, the announcements that you might be making during a project. And instead of you having to dig through all your different project channels, mm. we're able just to kind of have an announcement channel. So stakeholders and sponsors can just see what's happening and keep up to date with stuff, which is which is quite useful. Um, and the idea behind this whole chat ups movement is to allow bring this stuff together into one place. So you've got the developers that want to use their favorite dev tools and you've got the project managers that need to try and manage that. And it's quite a challenge. Yeah. But with stuff like Teams, we can bring in these tools straight into team channels and have um, conversations around what's going on. Okay, so third party or first party applications like Visual Studio, I guess, we can put directly into the conversation within Teams. Pretty awesome, hey? Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Let me show you, let me show you some even cooler stuff. So it's not just these um, connectors that are pinging stuff in here. I can actually use some of the action buttons on this connector here mm. uh, to do things. Okay. So I can click on comment and I can actually comment straight back on this update from Visual Studios without having to leave Teams. So it really becomes that place for teamwork. Yeah, definitely one place for everything, right? Exactly, yeah, you got it. So it's not just um, connectors though that we have in Teams. I can actually use tabs. You might have seen these with other things that we have in Teams. Lots of different tabs in, right? From kind of, yeah, that, that's it, right? Everything that's kind of Microsoft centric and then everything kind of the party stuff. We, there's a whole list there. Got it, yeah, all this good stuff. And then you've even got the power to bring in websites in here. So if you want to bring in third party apps, as long as there's an HTTPS link to it, mm -hmm. then you can even pin that as a tab too. And I'm going to just show you a little bit about that later on. But what's really cool about this VSTS one here is you can see I can have my full uh, VSTS backlog shown to me. And I can even drag things around here without having to leave. So I get the full experience as if I'm looking at it in the browser. Yeah. And that's going to update my conversation with this, with this status change, which is pretty cool, right? Now, if I want to also dig into things a little bit deeper because I might have some questions to ask about certain things on my backlog here. Mm -hmm. Again, you guessed it, I don't have to leave Teams. I can just open a conversation here and that's now gonna let me use the, what we call the uh, Compose extension. I'm just gonna shuffle you up to the top left here if you just hang on, there you go. And you can see that I can use that Compose extension by just at mentioning the STS. Yep. And then I can call things that are on the backlog straight from here. And this is what I've done earlier on. So I know Lee's working on this um, item here. So I can call it in here, tag Lee in the message, and then he can reply back and we can have a conversation around this specific item. So it allows me to have that bird's eye view and then drill down into, into specific things that I need to get answers for.